Purdue, 31, Ohio State, 59. Ohio State's postgame win expectancy was 100%. Ohio State rang up 624 yards of offense on that Purdue defense. 361 passing, 263 rushing. Mayan Williams ran 14 times for 117 yards. Travion Henderson, 13 carries for 98 yards. They were awesome. Garrett Wilson had a rush for 51 yards. That was awesome. He had 126 yards on 10 receptions, did Garrett Wilson. Jackson Smith and Jigba, nine receptions, 139 yards, a touchdown. Uh, Chris Olave, nine receptions, 85 yards. Like this Ohio State offense started clicking early. And we talked about this game a little bit about how the line looked a little crazy. And that's when you got to go the other direction because. Again, like Purdue came off of a massive win last week, and can you do it two weeks in a row, especially when this, you're going on the road? This ain't one of those crazy lines, Gary. I looked at it yesterday. Ninety-one percent of the bets were on Ohio State. Yeah, yeah. It, well, it's but because that's, you. Think. That's not the. That's not the line. Looks crazy. Go the other way. I am a little shocked that it was ninety-one percent. It was ninety-one percent yesterday morning. That's crazy. I, there were so many. There were so many national media people that were taking Purdue in this spot. Like, yeah, no, they're gonna they, hang in no, this. None of those people actually make bets. David David Bell, by the way, eleven receptions, one hundred three yards. He did not have a touchdown. Milton Wright did. He was seven receptions, ninety eight yards, and one touchdown. They couldn't run the football. Purdue could not, and that was it. Derek Miller said. Sorry, guys. These schools recruit the best kids. Alabama, Ohio State, Clemson, and others. That's just how it is. Yeah, it is. Like it's, it is. Like I, but that's the reason why football is in the state that it is. Um, but it's, but that's again another self fulfilling prophecy. We say all the time they're the best schools, so all the best players go to the best schools. Yes, it's it's really it switched over. You thought, it, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Do you have any thoughts on Ohio State Purdue? Yeah, this game ended when Purdue was driving the football on them like nobody's business, doing exactly what they should do, take advantage of the Swiss cheese secondary, and then they tried to get cute and run some weird option, trick play, reverse, fumble the football. Uh, Ohio State got it, ball game. Ohio State's now up by three scores, and it's never close again. Yeah. Yeah. That, why, that was why a weird play call. trick plays when your standard offense is cutting them up like Swiss cheese? Well, I mean, it, to be fair, that's what Brom does, right? Like, no, but no, 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 no. That's what you do when you're playing teams where you can't run your offense. But when your base offense is getting five to nine yards of play, stop running. You don't run trick plays then. You damn sure don't run reverses that aren't going to get you more than five to nine yards. Okay. Agreed. If you want to run a trick play, you do something that's deep and down the field that you're trying to take the top off the defense. Ohio State – on the other side, did look really, really good. Took advantage frustrating. Of, yeah. And that's where the game that, – that's where they, because it was 14-7, and if you score there and you make it 14-14, this is just a game where it's boom, boom, boom. It's the ping-pong game that we thought it was going to be. But as soon as you get down three, because the very next play after that, they rush the ball for 61 yards and a touchdown. One play, 60 yards, boom, touchdown. It, and now it's a three-score game, and now you're completely out of your offense. Now you throw the script completely out of the window, which I don't know why you ever did that, because your base offense can cut them to pieces because their secondary cannot tackle an open field. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I It's very – it's frustrating. It's frustrating. That was frustrating. That um, was angering to watch. But for Ohio State, this is one of those, <laughs> Derek said, sorry, Chris, no excuses, just results. Ohio State came to play. Yeah, they did. They took advantage of mistakes that were made by Purdue. And here's the thing. Ohio State. Well, they're so much better than Purdue. Purdue's yes. got to play a perfect football game to hang in that game. Ohio State is going to have these kind of games, right? They are going to look well, yeah. fantastic some weeks, and they are going to look like complete garbage some weeks. And it's just trying to figure out what weekend they're going to do that. Right, they that's should the just. Goes. But the problem is, is they should never look like garbage when you look at the talent that's on that field. Agreed. Agreed. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE, at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.